Artists create artworks for many reasons. Kelly Shrimpton fell back in love with art while recovering from a head injury, and she's glad she did. In 2014, I fell off my mountain bike and hit my head, and I couldn't return to work, and I couldn't read a book, or watch TV, or listen to podcasts, or any of the other things people suggested I try. Uh, so I, first of all, started um, adult coloring in books um, for something to do, just purely out of boredom. Got bored of that reasonably quickly and decided to start painting again. I'd also been posting on Instagram part of my journey, just uh, again, I guess, hoping that somebody might benefit from the crap I was going through. Um, and people started saying they liked my art and can I buy that piece and it kind of evolved from there to this. <laughs> that was 10 years ago. Fast forward today and she is hosting her latest <laughs> solo exhibition at the Rotorua Arts Village. The theme is grief, all types of grief, not just uh, losing a loved one, but I also had a mountain biking accident where I hit my head and haven't been able to return to the job and career that I held before that. So there's grief around that and I recognise that um, people have all kinds of grief in their life and it's not something we're very good at talking about. For Kelly, creating art is one of the most powerful ways that she has found to help her deal with the losses she has experienced in her life. Not just her injury, but losing her mum and her partner. Lots of letting out the frustration of not being able to do lots of the things I wanted to be able to do and had always been able to do quite easily. And then, yeah, dealing with the grief. Obviously there was the grief from Nick having passed away uh, in 2016. Um, which I really didn't have the skills to cope with at the time and had kind of been stuffed down. So everything sort of started to probably unravel a little bit. And um, then my mum was diagnosed with lymphoma, the same as Nick had had. So there was a lot to be worked out on canvas. Her current works are brought together through the use of a consistent color palette. I've always been attracted to blue. Blue has always been my favorite color from when I was a little girl. And a lot of my early work probably did tend towards blues, but these colours came about when I went to visit my dad, who had a batch in Lake Alexandrina, at, which is near Tikapo. And so we spent some time there, and obviously the colour of Lake Tikapo, and the blue, blue sky, and the gold is from the tussock. So that's how I originally started with that colour palette. She says when it comes to her process, it's less about the structure and more about learning to just go with it. I use acrylic inks and a lot of the process is letting go of the idea of what I thought the painting was going to look like or what it was going to do. You can do so much and then you walk away and you let it dry and in that process sometimes the ink runs off the edge of the canvas. It seems the more attached you are to what it's doing when you turn your back, the more likely it is to flow off the canvas, so there is a lot of learning to let go, and then respond, which I guess is like life. Kelly draws inspiration from the natural world, something which she has found therapeutic while recovering from her injury. Since I hit my head particularly, I mean, I've always appreciated nature, but being unable to do so many things, I had to find ways to cope and things to do. And I've spent a lot of time stopping to look at the lake, and a lot of that was resting my brain. It was a way to just stop and slow down and, and rest. But there's the benefit of then you're sitting there looking at the lake. And I probably spend far more time than most people just sitting looking at a lake, you know? That's something that's really soothing for me and fuels my inspiration and leads into what we see on the walls here. Kelly is a regular visitor to the Arts Village and supporting other local artists. I'm really grateful for this place because I feel as though in so many places breaking into the art scene would be almost impossible for someone like myself. And the Arts Village has always been super encouraging and open. It's such an amazing community focused facility that supports the artist and supports the community to be involved in art. And I feel like that's really valuable in our community. Art Village director Kelly McManus is a fan of Kelly's work. 
not just for the way it looks, but for the story behind it. The thing about Kelly's artwork that attracted me to approaching Kelly to have an exhibition here was um, it was actually more Kelly and I guess the first time I met her uh, was her ahua. Kelly has worked as a social worker and in the mental health industry. She believes Kelly's work can be a powerful medium for healing. Some people might come in here and look at the artwork and then they read Kelly's story about mental health, about grief, dealing with grief and life after death and you get a better picture of the story that she's trying to tell. Mental health is hugely important, especially around losing loved ones and how you deal with that afterwards. Um, they wouldn't want you to be sitting around crying and moping. They want you to go and live your life. And um, Kelly talks about that in her artwork and it comes through very strongly. The exhibition is on display at the Rotorua Arts Village until July 1st, with Kelly on site Sundays and Mondays to have a chat with anyone who stops by. Mead Norton, Local Focus.